Hey, what is going on guys? Root of the Null here, come back at you with another batch tutorial. Alright, now in this video, we're going to be taking a look at another string function. Another little piece of code, or another little global toolkit thing for us, another utility that's going to allow us to manipulate strings, or that data type that, you know, works with text, and uh, sentences, and words, and phrases, and that sort of thing. So, uh, we're going to be doing that right now, today, in this video, and all that jazz. I'll get CMD and Notepad++ ready, and I'll show you what it is we're going to be doing. But first, I'm going to create a new script, and I'll call mine capitalize.bat. And you know, that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be working with something that's going to allow us to capitalize the first letter inside of a string. If, and only if, the first character inside that string happens to be a letter. If it's a lowercase letter, obviously it'll capitalize. It'll turn into an uppercase letter. If it's an uppercase letter, we don't have to worry about it. If it's a number, yeah, we don't have to worry about it. But we're still going to have to loop through uh, a little bit of code and be able to understand and make sure that it is going to be a letter that we can work with and that sort of thing. But uh, anyway, let's get started. Let's do add echo auth as usual. And this is a global tool, so we're not going to set local or anything. But here I'll show you the syntax that I want. I want it to be able to call capitalize and then we'll pass in a string. Anything can go here. And I'm going to pass it in with the quotation mark so we know it'll be a string. And that way, even if they pass in a variable, they can just pass in the value of that variable. Or they can still use any other kind of data. And that sort of thing. So I'm going to stick with that sort of syntax here. And then we're going to need a return variable or and, uh, that sort of thing. So First, we need to actually be able to tell the diff we need to be able to tell the difference between the lowercase and uppercase letters. So what we're going to do is actually sort of build ourselves the alphabet, <laughs> and that might seem a little crazy, but all it really is is just a list or an array of all the stuff. So I'll go ahead and call create array, and I'll call mine uppers, and we're going to need a delimiter of a space character, and here I'll start things going a b c d e f. All right, now we'll get one for the lowercase letters as well. All right, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I think those look good. I want to trust myself here. All right, I think we're ready to roll. But uh, anyway, we need to be able to work with that string variable that we pass in anyway to our program. And uh, since that's going to be passed in as a typical uh, quotation marks, that sort of thing, we still need to be able to turn that into a variable that we can manipulate. So we're going to go ahead and call create string. I'll just call it string. We'll pass in the value here. And now we're going to need to actually know what the first character is inside that string. So I'm going to go ahead and create a variable. I'll call mine set first. I'll call mine first, I'll use the set command to do it with, and um, then we're going to need the value of the string, and we're going to use our substring notation here with a colon and tilde, and from the zeroth position, we're going to want the f up until the first position, so essentially the first character. And then we can go ahead and start to loop and see if our, our first character is actually anything we should worry about. But we're going to need to create a limit if we're going to be looping through things, remember. So, limit can be the value of uppers, length. It could be uppers, we could use lowers, really since it's, it's just the alphabet they have the same length, but anyway we're just going to subtract one from there, and then we can begin our loop. So 4-L, the variable I'm going to use is G, and that can be inside of our set of 0, 1, up until our limit. And now we'll do, and while we're testing, I'm sorry, while we're looping, what we're going to actually want to do is test, and we can test if the value of the lower form of the current number is equal to the first character, then we know, okay, we want to turn this into an uppercase letter because the first character is a lowercase one. So what we're going to actually do is set our return value, or our variable up here, now that's going to be accessed by our percent sign 2, because it's a command line argument, remember, we can set that to equal the uppers formation of that current position or of the character that we were just looking at. And then what I want to do is break out of the loop, and we're going to set up a label that's going to allow us to do that. So right down here at the bottom, we can actually set up end. But what happens if uh, if actually we don't find any lowercase letters as the first one? Well, we're still going to want that first character inside of our string. So before we break out of it, what we can do is actually set the first uh, our return value anyway to equal the first character. 
So this will only execute if we don't find it. If we do find something we have to worry about, it'll just go to the end and, uh, you know, that's really all that we have to worry about. Now at the end, though, we still have to tack on the entire rest of the string. So we can set the percent sign 2 to equal percent sign 2, the value of anyway. We can wrap that in exclamation points. And then we'll put in string with our substring notation from 1, so everything after the first position. And now, when we've got that all set up, we can actually go ahead and run this. But wait a second, we need a script to be able to actually run this from. Because remember, we can't use the script without using set local or anything, so we actually do need to be able to have a script to work with this. So I'll create one, script.bat. This is just a typical script for us. All right, now we'll want to go ahead and create a string. I think I'll call mine variable. And I'll just have it say, what are you talking about? All in lowercase letters. And now what I'll do is go ahead and call capitalize. I'll pass in the value of the variable and set my return statement to just be return, just to keep it easy. And now, what we can go ahead and do is echo out the value of return. And we should see, what are you doing, or what are you talking about anyway, with a capital W. So if I run script, boom! We've got, what are you talking about with a capital W, and it works perfectly fine. Now, if this were capital already, it would still loop through it, so it even takes a little bit longer if it happens to have one of these. So don't bother capitalizing anything if you already know it's capitalized. But this is kind of useful for testing uh, user input, because you may not know what they actually enter. If it's a bunch of numbers in the first part of the string, it still won't worry about those either, but it's still going to have to loop through the alphabet. So if I put in a name, like John Hammond, what it can do is go ahead and capitalize the first letter, which is John. We still have to worry about this H and the, the next word after that, but hey, that's another tutorial. That's another tutorial in a way. That's something that we can worry about later on in the future. For now, you've got an introduce to the capitalize function, and that's something pretty spiffy and pretty handy, but really you're just going to want to know that we're going to be using this array or this list of uh, characters in the alphabet a lot, and that's really what's going to help us out. If we know what we're working with before we work with things, we can work with them in a little bit of a better way. And uh, really, that's all. Thank you very much for watching, though, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. And before I go, let's actually go ahead and move this into our system path, in case we ever want this. If I go over to John Hammond... Oh, you can see the Sims. That's nice. Um, capitalizes what we need. I'm going to go ahead and put it inside our tools. I'm trying to keep track of everything that we work with. And we'll move into Windows, System32, and I can just plop that right in there. Now, no matter where I am, if I move the script into my desktop, if I go into my desktop and then run script, Capitalize still works because it's in our system path and we don't have to worry about it. And even though Capitalize is not in our current directory, it's anywhere we want it to be. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please leave a like. Please comment. Please let me know what you think of the series, what you think of this video, what you'd like to see in future uh, tutorial series, that sort of thing. And uh, maybe if you want favorite, subscribe. I don't know. Uh, do whatever you do, guys. Thanks again, though. Bye.